What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today here we have a 22 LR bolt action rifle from Savage Arms. It was a lot of fun playing with this rifle. The model number is the 28702. And again, 22 LR bolt gun. A very, very affordable bolt gun. All right, we're getting right into it. We're not doing any nonsense. That's not how we do it here. We'll start the back work our way forward. Um, the uh, the stock is a uh, synthetic plastic stock. Probably will last forever and ever and ever. Very, very durable. Again, that's part of the reason it is so affordable. Three things my buddy added to this rifle. This is my buddy's rifle. Again, we'll get into that in a second. First thing here is this cheek weld, cheek riser, whatever you want to call it. Inexpensive. Just a... Uh, Tighten it down. You can get these online. Very, very inexpensive. It gets your cheek weld up a little bit higher, um, especially if there's a kiddo shooting it. That is a nice, nice touch. Um, like I mentioned, it is a bolt action rifle. If you don't know what that means, you put the magazine in, you put the bolt down, pew, you shoot one pew pew, bolt up to the back, it ejects and uh, gets that uh, empty round out of there. Bolt forward and down, loads the next round so you can go pew 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 again. Uh, bolt action guns are a lot of fun. They're typically very reliable. They can be extremely quiet if you suppress them, so there's a lot of advantages to it. And again, this particular one is 22 LR, but Savage Arms has these in a bunch of different configurations, sizes, colors, calibers. This is probably the one I would go with, with as well, but there's a lot of different options. All right, two quick things before we get into the receiver and the trigger and all that good stuff. I am um, starting up my giveaways on my Patreon page again. I used to do a monthly giveaway and I've been slacking on that. So Patreon supporters, I am extremely sorry. So we're gonna start the giveaways again. Uh, I'll get into this at the end of the video. I just wanted to mention it in the beginning here. This is a Live the Creed med kit. That's gonna be June's giveaway. Link down below if you wanna support me on Patreon. Second. Uh, this is my buddy Antonio's rifle. I just wanted to say thank you. It was very, very nice of him to support me. He didn't have to do that. So thank you, thank you, thank you to Antonio. All right, right under the bolt is the safety. Uh, red is dead. If the safety is off, pull it to the rear to, put, to engage the safety. It's in a great spot. Very, very natural, intuitive. That's where a lot of bolt actions have their safety, and that is great. All right, magazines. We have some interesting, interesting time with these magazines. So it comes with this little five-round magazine. And you can buy these 10 round magazines, which is cool. Um, we would, when we first got it, we were loading the magazines and the second we loaded uh, all the rounds and moved it, they just they, they squirted out of there. Um, so uh, I just kind of pinched the feed ramps, the feed lips here a little bit. And uh, once I did that on both of the magazines, they were good to go. So they're not very hard to load. We did have that one little issue. Again, once I pinched the ends of the magazines, they were good to go. I didn't have a problem after that. But I always like to mention it to you. Now the receiver on this guy is uh, its pretty damn good. First of all, it's carbon steel. And carbon steel is very, very durable, very good steel. SIG, for example, makes their barrels out of carbon steel. And being this is only a 22 LR, it can definitely withstand the uh, pressure that uh, 22 LR puts out. So it has a matte finish, it's blue, the serial number's on it. Um, Nothing else to write home about. Uh, I want, do want to go back to the bolt. To take the bolt in and out, you just uh, pull the trigger and then the, oh, my safety must be on. Yeah. Pull the trigger and the bolt comes right out. Um, fairly standard bolt. I don't have much to talk about. Um, the only thing I couldn't find online is what material this bolt is made out of. I tried finding it online. I Googled it. Went into some forums and obviously looked on the Savage Arms website and I couldn't find that information. I even emailed Savage Arms, but nobody can go back to me yet. So if you know, could you please drop it down in the comments so we can all learn together on what bolt material uh, this gun, the, what material the bolt is made out of. So putting it back, same thing. You just pull the trigger and the bolt slides forward. Simple as that. So it's very easy to take apart and clean, which is a good thing because 22 LR gets gross. All right, trigger. It's great. Trigger's phenomenal. It's AccuTech, I think AccuTech trigger. It's crisp, it's clean. Uh, you have a little take up here on the trigger. Uh, short, excellent trigger. Uh, very, very light. Now normally what we do at this point is take a break so I can let you see the trigger and the take up and, and the reset and all that stuff. Being this is a 22 LR, I don't know if it's safe to dry fire. Whoops. And I don't want to take a chance and I just suggested that, take a chance and mess my buddy's rifle. So you have to take my word for it. I don't want to take a chance, but the trigger is excellent. 
Front of the trigger is where the magazines go. Slide the magazine in and then right behind it is the magazine release and you pull uh, back on the magazine release and the mag comes out. My son struggled a little bit with it for a minute after he took the magazine in and out two or three times he was good to go but he's very familiar with the controls of an AR-15 and this was the first time he shot a bolt gun so it took him a little while to get used to it. Um, the barrels are very, very nice. It's a really large bull barrel. So even if this thing gets hot and you shoot it a ton as fast as you can for a bolt action gun, it's not going to drop off in accuracy. The barrel's huge for a 22 LR. Uh, blued finish, matte just like the receiver, so it matches the receiver. 16.5 uh, inches, also made from carbon steel, which is great. Very, very durable material. The thing will probably last forever. Standard 116 twist like uh, most 22 LR barrels have. It has some nice flutes on the outside. I think they're more aesthetic than anything else. I can't imagine it's going to do much, but it looks pretty good. Uh, the thread on the end is really interesting. It takes a standard half by 28 thread, which is great. And this thing would make an awesome uh, host for a suppressor. I can't have suppressors in this state because I live in a god-awful state of Rhode Island. But if you could, this would be a great 22 LR suppressed hose. You put those CCI uh, quiet inside here, and if you need to do something quietly, dispatch an animal, whatever, this would be great. Bolt actions uh, are very, very quiet because when you shoot, there's no, you know, BCG and buffers and all that stuff making noise. So with a, with a suppressor and the bolt, quiet, quiet, quiet. Great, great, great. Uh, I did have a sound mitigation device from Whip Machine. Um, other companies make them as well, but the whip machine one's great and it just sends all the sound down range, down from where you're shooting. And I wanted to put that on there because even with a standard 5.56, that, that almost makes it hearing safe for the shooter. And uh, with this, with the 22, it would be absolutely hearing safe as long as you're behind the firing line, especially if you put those quiets in there. So hopefully I can find that adapter, put it on there. And I'm gonna stop rambling. All right, 35, just over 35 inches. It weighs five and a half pounds. The length of pull from the trigger to the stock is 13.9. I wanted to mention that in case it's for some kiddos. And then your MSRP is only 289. The price, you can't beat the price. The price is great. And that's MSRP. You can even find it for less than that. I just realized I skipped two things, I'm sorry. So the scope on here is a budget-friendly BSA scope. Again, this was a budget-friendly build that my buddy Antonio wanted to do, mostly for his son as well when his son gets older. So inexpensive rifle, inexpensive cheek well. The scope is a three to nine, it's made by BSA, and it was a lot nicer than I expected. When I saw it and saw BSA, I was gonna be like, yay. But it was actually pretty nice. There's no holdovers or anything, uh, but we were easily I'm skipping ahead, but we're easily getting hits out at 200 yards without much uh, effort. And we even got a couple at three, even though the holdovers were like <laughs> that. But we got the hits, that's all that matters. There's also a spot on the, on the bottom to have mount a bipod. And with this one, that is a great addition to throw a bipod in the bottom and just make shooting it a lot easier. All right, testing. We shot it a lot, a lot, lot, lot. We made a huge dent into a case of 22 LR. Uh, I didn't count, I don't know, well over 500 rounds. Once my son starts shooting, it's hard to get him off. And for the first time, he would rather shoot this over his 1522. So he has a Smith & Wesson 1522, and he loves the semi-auto, just burning it down. And he, I've tried to get him to try lever guns and other things, he doesn't want it. He wants the semi-auto with this, he was having a blast. And he, all he wanted to do was shoot this. So the problem we were having is it was having failures to extract. You'd shoot, you run the bolt, nothing came out. At first I thought it was just my son and I gave it a try, same problem. It was very, very frustrating trying to get my son used to running a bolt and it kept on having failures to uh, extract the round. Um, I talked to my buddy Antonio, the owner of this gun. He's like, yeah, clean the bolt, clean down the chamber and see if it if it helps. So I cleaned the edge of the bolt and it was gross, 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 gross. I, I ran a boar snake down there a few times, went back to the range and it was flawless. Shot it a whole bunch and then it started happening again. So frustrating, you shoot, uh, round's not coming out, you gotta get a knife or something to take the round out of the chamber, shoot a couple times over and over and over. So very frustrating. So when this thing was clean, it ran like a top. It was perfect, there was no issues. When it got really dirty and I was shooting junk 22 ammo in the gun's defense. So we did have those issues. I don't know if it's just this model or all of them have that problem. You know, it is a common issue with 22 LR guns because they get so dirty, but when this thing was clean, it was flawless. When it was dirty, I'd say one or two out of the 10 rounds would not uh, eject when you were running the bullet. All right, 
that's pretty much the testing. Actually, the other thing I want to say was um, I, my, I started off my son at 50 yards and that was easy, 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 easy for him. We went out to 100. Again, that was very, very easy for him as well. We went out to 200. He struggled a little bit. And then I said, dude, if you can get a hit at 200 yards, I will take you to McDonald's. And that's a treat. I hate McDonald's. We don't eat that swill, even though he loves it. Second I said that, he figured out the holdovers and he's going ting, 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 and he can't miss all of a sudden. So I thought that was kind of funny. But I could easily get hits out to 200 pretty much every single time, no matter how junky the ammo was. Three to nine optic doesn't hurt. And then like I said, I got a couple hits at 300 yards and the 300 yard target was huge. It's like the steel buffalo, it's enormous. So that doesn't hurt, but uh, this gun is not designed to be shooting out. Our 22 LR is not designed to be shooting out that far. Anyway, rambling again, pros. Uh, it's a great budget friendly bolt gun for kids or for varmints or lightweight. Throw it in a backpack, so many different things in the truck that you could do with this. Uh, very, very good for a budget friendly, especially if it's for a kiddo. The trigger is phenomenal. I love that you can add an optic to it. The barrel is great. The barrel is going to last forever. The plastic stock is good. Uh, I love that it's threaded. I wish I could have a can, a nice 22 LR can on here with the bolt, it would be so stinking quiet. It would be a pleasure to shoot. As far as cons, I don't have any cons of the features. The only thing that bums me out is we did have the problem with the magazines. Again, I pinched it and it was good to go. We had a problem ejecting, extracting the round. Um, again, once I cleaned the bolt, I cleaned the chamber, it was good, good to go as well. And I don't know if it was the bolt that was all mucked up or if the chamber was all gross because the couple times I had those issues, I cleaned both the bolt and ran a bore snake down and it fixed the issue. I wish I did one, tested it to see which one was having the issue, but I didn't. So I don't know which one fixed the problem, but either way, doing both of those though, both of those things fixed it. Overall, it's a dope little bolt gun for the price. I still do think it's worth it. Um, I think I'm gonna get my son a bolt gun. Don't tell him it's a surprise. Put a nice little optic on here. I think I'm gonna do something like this. I don't know if I'm gonna get a Savage Arms. I'll reach out to Savage. I'll reach out to Bagara. I'm a big fan of Bagara, 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 however you say it. I'm a big fan of those and I'll find a good one for him. We'll put a nice little scope and bipod on it and I'll do a video on that as well. But overall, dope little rifle, well worth the price. And uh, yeah, so the giveaway. Very, very simple. You have to be part of my my Patreon supporters. If you are on Patreon and you are a supporter, I will put all, every, all my Patreon supporters' names in a virtual hat. Pick a name and I'll announce it in a couple weeks by, by the end of June on uh, who, who wins this. And I'm going to try really, really hard to do a different giveaway every single month. I have the next three months planned already after this one. So... I'm going to do my best to make sure I don't forget. One more time, let me thank my buddy Antonio, my co-worker Antonio. Very, very nice of him for loaning this little rifle to me so I can review and show you guys. So I wanted to thank him one more time. Swag, if you can't see behind the shirt, we got Tiberius Swag. These shirts are great. They're super soft. They're athletic fit. They fit great. They look great. And again, they are very, very soft. They're made by TriStar Trading. And the link in, uh, to the shirts is down in the video description if you want to support me that way. I'm done chilling. Thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Fire up. Santa goes here. Hex, you know something? We're going to put Santa right here on the barrel. Ready? Santa. Magic. If you think I deserve it, like, comment, subscribe, enable the bell notifications. I'm sorry. My corny dad jokes, you have to deal with them. But I love you, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.